Man, I mean, I I was just saying how uh, you know pre prior to this how I haven't been able to see a lot of the top players playing ranked uh, over the last few months, and and whether it's been my time or them not playing, it's just been tougher to to be able to fall into a spot where I can do this. And the previous game where Yo played Nico was really entertaining. Now we have what I consider to be the most entertaining ranked game player of all time, if that's a title, in MBL up against Yo. Uh, MBL just produces some crazy, crazy entertaining moments. And he is playing as the Aztecs here in the blue. Um, and then we have Yo, who's actually not too far away, and Yo is playing as the Bohemians. And I have to say, Yo's map is awesome for the Bohemians, because what you want is you want safe wood, you want safe gold. Not that you wouldn't want safe wood and safe gold with any sieve, but... Uh, the, the concern with the Bohemians is can you lock down your mining because you get the gold mining upgrade for free in Feudal. And then also you get the... Uh, sorry, gold and stone upgrades are free in each age. So just like as the game goes on, you're getting all those mining techs nonstop. You do have the berries in the back, which is awesome. Um, kind of easier to avoid the common Aztec Drush with the Militia. And again, wall potentials there, little palisade or house there, army buildings out in front of here, and then eventually, I guess even these golds are kind of towards the back. Whereas for MBL, his main gold's more forward. Not saying he can't protect it. Berries are fine, wood lines are obviously fine. But these golds here are going to be more of a problem. The, the one thing that could really help MBL, though, uh, Aztecs especially are always trying to get those relics in Castle Age. MBL, you forgot your boar. Um... There is a neutral gold here. So it's likely that he will find that, and that could actually be something that saves him later on. Yeah, MBL didn't want to finish off the... Uh... <laughs> That's funny. He, he... <gasps> okay, scared me, but he didn't want to take another sheep. So he just took the wood there for a second. Um, Yeah, so the other neutral gold's here, by the way, which is kind of central, which wouldn't necessarily save Yo. I haven't seen MBL playing a ton. Um, you know, he's got a full-time job and all that stuff, and uh, we do have a, a big LAN event coming with different settings, so I don't know what his preparation's been like. Dave and I talked a little bit about it yesterday. Uh, MBL is notoriously underprepared. Um, it has been for years, and if he's got a lot more going on in life these days, maybe he just hasn't been playing the game an awful lot, but sometimes that can be good. Like, sometimes you, you want to come in with a fresh outlook and, and feeling fresh and... You know, it depends. Uh, let's see if MBL wants to drop a barracks. Most likely it's going to be barracks. Aztecs can't go scouts. And the Bohemians have awful stable units. So uh, we're most likely going to see uh, infantry and archers in this map. And guys, Yo in the previous game was super, super, super greedy. I don't know why I said super three times. Probably one for every deer he's pushed. But yeah, if you missed the previous game, it'll eventually hit YouTube. So if it was on YouTube, it was probably within the last couple of days. Anyways, uh, ran a scout into his enemy's TC, lost two villagers to a drush because he didn't know it was coming. MBL, to be fair, also very greedy, uh, pushing in his deer. So I think both of these guys, just because of the matchup, they just kind of know what it's going to be. If I had to guess, obviously I've see, I see everything, but I would say men at arms into range from Aztecs, and then Yo would try and go for a range opening with Bohemians to defend from that. Okay. Uh, Jays, I, I don't know. Um, I would like to play in more tourneys, but it really depends on what my life looks like. Um, November will be a lot less busy than the last four months have been for me. I could see myself competing, but then there's always the thing of like, as MBL's Eagle just, just got bonked by the TC one time. Um, you know, if I'm, it's hard for me to go back and forth between being content creator and host and all those things and then also being competitive because I don't feel great if I play and lose and then know that I can perform better if I would have had proper preparation or training. But the reality is, if I want proper preparation or training, I have to take away from all the videos on the multiple channels and all the streaming hours and all those, and then hosting other events. And I'm never gonna prioritize like my preparation for playing an event over those things so yeah we'll so we'll see how i'm feeling it's easy enough for me to just be like well you know i'm not expecting to really be able to play my best 
but sometimes the feeling I get afterwards, like that frustration, it's just like, why did I even play, you know? But I, I should settle a little bit with that outlook. I, um, I have beaten some really good players. I was able to beat Licks. Um, probably the biggest one. When I teamed with MBL, we were able to beat Nikov and Kapoch. So I've, I've had some good moments since I started playing in events. So I should probably continue doing it regardless. There's not a lot of people who are in my position where they can, you know, do everything that I'm doing, but also, in theory, maybe have a little bit of time to do that. So I feel like I should take advantage of it. All right. Um, wall's coming up. And yeah, so Yo immediately gets a gold mining upgrade. MBL scouted what his opponent was up to. And he just said, well, okay, there's no way I'm doing damage to this guy. He's going to wall up. He didn't know about the gold. And so it's pretty much the same exact build order from both players. Um, they're both getting their wooden farm upgrades. They're both just adding a range. I think the difference is that Aztec normal economy, like farming eco, tends to be... Um, that tends to be a bit faster because right, of their carry capacity. And forget that's something that I need to bring up more. A lot of people forget that like the Aztec production with military is a slightly faster. And then the carry capacity on their farmers. I think it's just their farmers, right? Anyways, it just feels so strong, right? So, but what Bohemians can do and what is very much meta right now is they will use the additional gold they bring in with the gold mining bonus and they will buy food and rush up to the next stage. So MBO just walling up. Uh, he went for a skirm and two eagles, but this is sloppy. This tells me MBL hasn't played the game in like a week. <laughs> like that, I mean, maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration, but that that is very sloppy because now the archers can take out something they shouldn't normally be able to engage against. And, you know, you understand the feeling from MBL to try and do damage with this army. But uh, Yo knows he's fully protected now. Good news for MBL is he is also fully protected. So this game is definitely going to go towards Castle Age, but every little moment matters, of course. Yeah, like the farms, you feel it more on the farms uh, than you do anything else. The carry capacity. Because, like, the wood line, you, you, it doesn't make as much of a difference because you're right next to it. But if you have additional carry capacity and you're walking from further distances, where you really start to feel it with Aztecs is late feudal and then early castle age. At that point, you've got quite a few farms. Fletching in for Yo, he also uh, added a second archer range, which is unique. MBL's trying to be a pest here. No fletching for him. No blacksmith even. I really don't think he expected Yo to make this much army. Well, I say that, but he did see the second range, so maybe I'm just crazy. Mm. All right. Uh, I'm glad you're a creator. You are the sole reason and my fiance. Uh, pff, I can't speak. <laughs> you are the sole reason and my fiance are the reasons I've gotten into AOE 2. Well, I think you said it was your first day here in the stream, so it's nice to have you. Thank you. I love to play the game. And I, I am very... Oh my god, Yo's being so annoying. What do you guys think about this? If your farmer is being attacked, your farmer can't work. <laughs> so much for that carry capacity, bro. <laughs> it's something players do more and more these days. And you absolutely should if someone doesn't have army to uh, defend themselves. It's just another way you can get value from your army. But yeah, it just cracks me up. And believe me, being on the receiving end of that doesn't feel good. But yeah, I'm, I'm able to put on a lot of different hats. And, and uh, you know, I like my low elo, high elo, mid. Obviously like to play as well. Um, the game offers so much variety. And so I'm really happy that I'm able, I've been able to find so many. Um, what's the word? So much, so much passion in so many different ways in Age of Empires 2, right? The struggle comes in is I can't be 100% on everything. And uh, so, you know, if, if people aren't able to enjoy things uh, as much as others, I will put those things at the bottom of the list. Not even just because it's my job. It's just like I really enjoy sharing what I'm doing with people. So, 
Man, Yo saw his opponent open with skirms and just boldly kept making archers this game. And I honestly kind of love it. Because MBL did a lot in this game that just made me feel like he assumed Yo wasn't going to make a lot of army. MBL now is getting fletching. Very late timing. AD is 4-3. to three. Now, villagers could die. You have to be careful. But yeah, Yo knows there's skirms out there now, so he might need to get out of here. So once armor's in, these archers are going to struggle to get away. So archers with fletching do 5 damage. Skirm before armor has 3 base pierce armor. The archers are doing 2 damage a hit. Now armor's in, so they do 1 damage a hit. Because it's 3 plus 1, which is 4. And this army should end up dying. In the end, I actually think Yo will be happy that he killed so many... Uh, he killed so many skirmishers, though. I hear he's taking a lot of losses. I might not even be paying attention to that, to be completely honest with you. But at least he was able to kill some things before armor came in, but he didn't get away with any of these. And now maybe he's just being too stubborn, but he does click up to Castle Age. Hmm. Now, did he use the market? A little bit. That's really good eco work from Yo. Um, so, I don't have a phrase for this. I have phrases for some things. Like, with trebuchets, I say don't trickle treb to get a point across, right? But, um... There is an explanation I've given before, and I'll give it again. So, I think it's always important that you play based on the situation in the game, for the most part. But you always have a long-term thinking of what your civilization thrives with. And so Yo is currently adding a stable because he sees skirms. And also eagles. So, you know, scouts and then eventually a couple knights from Yo could be good. But the key word there is a couple. Because you don't want to find yourself in a situation where you are stuck on something that your civ is just straight up trash within the long term. And so what I'm getting at is, and this is normally a conversation of like this exact thing. Um... You know, where skirmishers are out, and you have to decide if you go staples. Going one stable to prop up your best type of unit to allow your archers to have success is, is generally speaking, what I would suggest. That's what a lot of pros do. Whereas, like, mid-elo or low-elo, you guys might be fully reactionary, and you might stop producing the archers. And then later on, you're like, oh, my knights were working, but now what do I do? Now I've got to switch back into archers again. These guys don't do that. They, like, combine different types of forces. Now, MBL's got eagles, but he has double range, so he's got range units out. Um, and he's going to try and get a hit in here before Yo gets the upgrades. That's a very good fight from MBL. I think the most important thing, actually, he doesn't need to dive on this at all. He just wants the army to be away from his base. Yo has crossbow and bodkin coming in. Be curious to see if Yo takes advantage of more Bohemian bonuses. Yeah, check this out. So, he rushed a monastery and immediately got Fervor. Bohemian villagers are affected by Fervor, which gives monks speed. Also affects the Vils. And then he also rushed a university, which tells me he might go for chemistry. But chemistry takes a long time. And he says, I don't care. Dang. Well, the thing is, though... MBL's got army, and, and MBL doesn't really have to fear chemistry for a couple minutes, and Yo's completely trapped. Yo, overextending maybe like he did earlier in the game, and now he's going to lose control against Aztecs. And against MBL, you do not want to give up control. Trust me. <laughs> MBL's a master when he's controlling the game. So we're going to see a siege workshop from Yo. Chemistry is unfortunately... It, it will be useful... But it feels useless right now. Also, it's worth pointing out that he delayed a couple of eco upgrades so he could rush out chemistry. It's still 300 food, 200 gold, and it takes almost two minutes to research. I think it's 90 seconds, maybe 95 seconds. Now, if you're doing eight damage a shot with crossbows, skirms, even with full armor, are still going to take enough damage where... You could, in theory, fight them back. Um, so there's that option. And then if your opponent ever switches into Eagle Warriors, which Aztecs are known for, you can have hand cannons. 
Oh man, does MBL know about the Siege Workshop and does Yo know about the crossbows? Oh, that would have been such a good moment. MBL's skirms being super annoying. They're just attacking university. He's like, you shall not learn. They're throwing the spear into the top window. These crossbows are getting away. They, they could actually kill this. Oh no, never mind. MBL has ballistics, so he shouldn't be missing his shots. Uh, does MBL have a monastery yet? No, he's not, and he's two TCs, so he's, uh, he's gonna, in theory, fall behind in villagers if this continues. And Yo gets a great attack round. You can see the rocks are on fire. Yo also adding a few hand cannons. Let's go, baby. Castle Age hand cannons will be vulnerable against skirms and crossbows. Yo still, like, distracting three skirmishers, which is so cool. But does Yo see the eagle? He sees the eagle. He'll now know. I need my hand cannons here, and it's like he thought about this, guys. He knew. Bam. Hand cannons are sick against infantry. So, honestly, like, Manganel hand cannons, pretty solid. I think MBL might need to consider <clears throat> his own siege, but then again, hand cannons are even pretty good against that. Bill count's even. Army count is not. However, MBL's being... <clears throat> Quite hesitant here. He's obviously concerned. This is MBL's point of view. And Yo's gonna kill a Vil. Maybe even another Vil before MBL reacts. MBL was killing villagers there, so they both killed two villagers at the same time. <laughs> Which is funny. And they both react. They, they both failed to react because they were focusing on their armies in those exact moments. 33% more gold per relic with Aztecs. Big thing you want to think about. And MBL definitely wants to get a forward castle down here, guys. And that carry capacity off 16 farms. Look at the amount of food. He, he is currently trying to ignore this as much as possible as Yo shoots down another villager. What Yo wants to do is he wants to have a threat that is so strong that this army from MBL comes home. The last thing he wants is a forward castle on his face or any type of pressure here. But he is does have to brace himself for it at the same time. So, will this threaten MBL enough where MBL gives up? Like, MBL is probably going to try and just send his siege home or something. You, you, a lot of you guys out there who, you know, m maybe have watched like a dozen of my games my, or, or cast might be like, why is MBL going to kill this? Because if he goes to kill this, then Yo has full control still. Trying to get away with as much as possible. Big shot there from the Manganel. MBL's known for his Mango Micro, though, so you have to keep an eye out for him. Still, the hand cannons are here, but now the hand cannons are running in. And maybe it's too extreme. Like, maybe MBL genuinely needs to come home for this. Yo's going to try and make the most of it, and here comes the villagers, and they are going to drop that castle right next to that town center. And this could lead to some big problems for Yo, so we have ourselves a really nice game. MBL still needs to keep his TC up. Uh, Yo takes out the Manganel, but still does not have enough to stop this castle. The hand cannons are looping back around. Uh, Yo is still expecting something from MBL to come over here to deal with this. This is awesome. And now MBL can take that stone, too. And Yo's like, I know what to do. I'm going to click up to the Imperial Age. I'm going to drop my own castle. And that's such good recognition from him as Yo defends his siege. I say this a lot. If there, if it's like mid-game and there's a forward castle, goal should be to get a defensive castle ASAP and imp. MBL is obviously trying to go imp, but his eco is being wrecked by those hand cannons. And Yo with some nice shots here. Gets his castle up. His castle is also getting some amazing value there. Oh my word, and this might be trouble for MBL. I mean, it is trouble for MBL, but it might not be something he can come back from. God, is Yo good. Also, Yo got two relics, which means a gold trickle for him. Obviously, also means denying that opportunity from a civilization that normally needs those relics. Um, and you know, it's a hard one to call here, guys. Honestly. I think that... Yo's macro was so incredibly solid in this game. 
that if MBL would have come home to deal with this and not have allowed this to accomplish quite as much, I think then Yo's castle that he just had to make in his own base would be on that hill. And then MBL would be struggling to push, so... You know, the hand cannon certainly got enough value. Yo's continuing to make them as well. Castle Age hand cannons. Not a meme. And MBL, of course, does not have chemistry. Has to wait till imp for chemistry. Also, the beauty of your situation if you're Yo, since chemistry is already completed, is you'll be able to make Bombard Cannon immediately out of your Siege Workshop. So you can go Trebuchets first and a Bombard Cannon. MBL's castle should never survive. MBL is now dropping towers. He just doesn't know what to do against this. This is with Aztecs. One of the best civilizations for Arabia. It was kind of a an interesting feudal age where they both went for range units and both expected range units, but then Castle Age is all about yo. And there should be a bomb mark cannon. Oh, he's gonna make it from the forward siege workshop. Okay. And then even just having the trebuchets first is a pretty big deal. The only thing that's awkward for Yo is that he cannot take stone right there. And he's almost out of this stone. Um. <gasps> oh! Villager, run back! Oh, can you imagine if MBL wasn't paying attention there? Actually, if MBL is paying attention here, he can completely deny this. Uh, hand cannons don't get any better just because you made it to the Imperial Agent. Oh my god! Wait, I'm surprised MBL's shot didn't do more damage to the hand cannons there. Overall, not the worst situation there for MBL, but obviously still could have some issues. Hand cannons still do tons of damage output, and MBL doesn't have Bracer yet, doesn't have any upgrades on these. So these two are still very much Castle Age units. Actually... Yo's units are Imperial Age units, so, uh, you know, that's something he can get in Castle Age. That's the main reason these things don't get a whole lot better now that you've made it to him. Um, Castle down. Yo's dominating right now. It's really showing how strong the Bohemians can be on an open map, right? Like, if you followed Titans League... If you, you follow the scene in general, Bohemians are seen as more of a closed map sieve. Not an open map sieve, but we saw a couple knights and scouts which were helpful for the time, but he just knew that he needed to have this type of a composition. This is the way he was going to win the game. Looks like he's going to mix in skirms now as well. Um, MBL's getting... He got block printing. He's now getting redemption. So with that, he'll be able to convert the bomber cannons, which will definitely make things interesting. MBL's behind by 20 or so villagers. Also doesn't have relics. Can't take his gold. Yo will know immediately upon seeing those monks that those things have redemption. And But at the same time, can't convert the trebs from range with redemption monks. So while the bomber cannons have to be careful, these two trebuchets are still very much a threat to MBL's castle. And Yo's just going to add a siege workshop here and just take more gold. You know, in Finding Nemo, how they're like, mine, 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 mine. That is, uh, that is what the Bohemians say. Double tower from MBL. He did research guard tower earlier, as you probably noticed. Uh, because how can you not? Aztec towers look so cool. My, my favorite guard towers in the game, personally. But yeah, MBL taps out, calls the GG. And look at the most created unit. That's fascinating. 27 hand cannons. 43 crossbows. MBL was never able to get to Arbalest. So, you know, it looks good for MBL with how much army he had. But Yo dropping the town centers and Yo's ability to just use the hand cannons in the siege for the five to seven minutes in mid-game there was able to get him his lead. Again, an interesting moment when MBL decided to just not deal with this. And hindsight should probably tell us that he should have. He should have dealt with the hand cannons and the mangonel. But again, I believe the reason for that, not saying it was right or wrong necessarily... I'm just saying it depends because if he does engage against that, Yo just backs away and then Yo drops a castle here and is fully protected, still probably makes it to the Imperial Age and, and who knows what happens there. So it was a fun game. Um, I, I kind of think though that just opening range units benefits the Bohemians more than it does 
the Aztecs. So I personally would have liked to see MBL apply a little bit more pressure. Obviously, his opponent was walled, though. Still feel like man-at-arms against those walls is solid. But yeah, yo, with more wood, food, gold. And uh, was behind on stone, but like that's like the least important resource for MBL with his save. It's not like he's going to go Jaguar Warriors. <laughs> Sadly, because they look really cool.